This is a lever. Levers have an arm and a pivot point, or fulcrum. Levers are used to lift heavy loads. Can you think of any levers you've seen before, maybe even played on? This is also a lever. This is the arm and this is the fulcrum. And that is the heavy load. Let's see if I can lift it. It's too heavy. What do you think will happen if I try pulling down on the lever from further along? The longer the lever, the easier it is to do the work. Levers are cool! Dewey, you know there's a simple machine that'll help you do that. It's called the inclined plane. The inclined plane, also called a ramp. It makes it easier to lift heavy objects because instead of just lifting the pot straight up, we can lift it with less force by sliding it up the ramp. We could use an inclined plane. Did you know that ancient Egyptians used inclined planes to lift heavy rocks? That's how they made the pyramids! There are many different types of knots in the world. Some are designed to untie easily. Others are not as easy to untie. Dewey, do you know how to tie a bow? What happens if you pull on those two strings? Can you think of any common uses for a bow? Also bows used every day. Shoelaces. The loops in the bow make it easy for the loose ends to slide through. Sometimes you need more secure knots. Here's how you tie a reef knot. Left over right and under. Right over left and under. Reef knots do not come undone as easily as bows. Each crossover creates more friction. If we want to make it even more secure, we can simply repeat with a third crossover. Knots are everywhere! Newton's cradle demonstrates one of Newton's great laws, the conservation of energy. An object with energy keeps that energy until it is transferred. When Jiwi lifts the ball, he is giving it energy. When the ball drops, it transfers energy to the next ball, which transfers to the next and the next, until finally, the last ball takes all that energy and swings out the other way.
object has a centre of gravity. As Jiwei slides it, guess when the book will fall? Objects are only supported when something is under their centre of gravity. If there is nothing directly under the centre of gravity, the object will fall. Different objects have different centres of gravity. What do you think will happen to the centre of gravity if a weight is taped on one end? The centre of gravity is now closer to the heavier end. This is a glass, and this is a plastic cup. When we let go of them, they'll go sliding down the table. Can you guess which one will hit the finish line first? Okay, Jiwi. Three, two, one. The plastic cup moves faster. Why is that? It's because of friction. Friction is the force we feel when things are rubbing up against each other. When the plastic cup slides down the table, there's friction between the surface of the cup and the surface of the table. Friction slows things down. Look how fast the ball goes without the cup. Heavy objects have more friction than lighter objects. This heavy glass has more friction against the table than this light plastic cup. It moves slower. Watch as we race them one last time. Ready, Dewey? Three, two, one. This is a pulley. Pulleys are used to change the direction of force. When Dewey pulls on the rope, the crate is lifted. What do you think we could do to make it easier? Do you think adding another pulley will help? This rope goes around one pulley on the ceiling and another one over here. This makes it twice as easy to lift, but I have a lot more rope to pull. This means I have to walk twice as far as Dewey to get my crate to the same height as his. If you use enough pulleys, you can even lift yourself. Cool, eh? When I turn this hairdryer on, air rushes out this way. This propels the hairdryer to move in the opposite direction, this way. But there's another simple machine at work here. The wheel and axle. What do you think will happen if I take them off? The hairdryer isn't moving. There's too much friction. The wooden surface is rubbing against the table and stopping it from moving. We could try making this table really slippery by adding soap or oil. But adding wheels reduces the friction even more. Wheels make it easy to move heavy objects, like a family in a car. Or school kids on a tram. The tram wheels move on a smooth steel track. This reduces friction even more. Can you think of any other wheels on a tram, Dewey? Which of these two things do you think will blow higher into the air?
Even though these both have the same mass, the flatter object is pushed more easily by the air because it has a much larger surface area.